Last week when we left you guys, we had no gas. We've run out of gas. We were pinned down in huge storm systems. This is so hectic, hey! And with a busted wind generator and no sun, we were on our last drop of diesel, just trying to keep the batteries full. We are seriously rethinking what our next move will be. Before we can think any further, we need to refuel and get gas. Oh, it's broken. After calling around the area, we have located a small town with a petrol station within walking distance from the shore. We plan to anchor out the front and run across the road. Upon motoring out of the protection of our anchorage, we were greeted with a pooling sea state from the previous night's storm. It's who's windier than we thought, okay, and the swell is huge. With the swell we copped in the protected passage, we can only imagine how wild it must have been out here. Dingo Beach is north facing. I don't think we're going to be able to like anchor safely or get to shore in this. Dingo Beach wasn't going to happen but we were completely unprepared to sail in these conditions. We turned to Karma back around to get back into calm waters to sort ourselves out. We were not prepared for it to be this rough out here. <laughs> but then we decided to drop anchor and just take another second to think. I know, are you as confused as us? This is Slim. Three knots on the face, skipper. I'm so the skipper. Oh, and we have a fluffy crew member too, Chili. We live aboard our 1989 Duncanson 34. She may be vintage, but her glory days are far from over. No! We're taking her around Australia, exploring our beautiful Aussie backyard. We put new videos out every Monday, so subscribe. Come along with us. Still be doing jerry lugging missions, you know. I don't think we can take her off alien. I mean, without being extremely uncomfortable. I had an inquiry about a marina berth pricing for an 11 meter mono hull, or at 10 and a half meters. But 130 squid a night. <laughs> He's got to be having a laugh, then, doesn't he? Isn't it? 130 bucks for a 10 and a half meter mono hull. She said it had to be an 11 meter pen, but. How much is that per meter? 10 bucks, 30 a meter. $10.30 a meter That's for 24 hours crazy. of water. Of water. With a little cleat that I tie my rope onto. <laughs> I was gonna buy heaps of diesel off them and stuff too. How's that, imagine like, how about I buy 80 bucks worth of diesel and we call it even. <laughs> <laughs> and fill up my old rusty gas bottle. So Coral Sea it is. I swear they need to put a staff member on just just for me calling, you know, I'm always calling this marina. There you go. <laughs> hey, I was wondering if you uh, might have availability for us to come in for a night at the marina tomorrow. Alright, so we got onto the marina, they've booked us a berth, um, so really we can get the gas done that day. We're booked into the fuel dock the next day on the day we're leaving and we'll be able to get as much fresh lettuce as our heart desires. Um, probably have a nice warm shower too. 60 bucks instead of 130. All of that for 60 bucks? All of that for 60 bucks wrapped up in a little parcel. Plus the lettuce, plus we're gonna have to buy the diesel, we'll probably buy some gas off them. They're gonna do a lot. Pretty good out of us. We're just gonna rock up. What we do when we get to shore is we just rock up and start spewing money at people for like 24 hours and then we leave again. <laughs> yep, we've decided to backtrack. This doesn't exactly align with our no turning back policy, but we're going to make an exception. Tomorrow, we set off for Airlie Beach, a five hour sail south. But for now, still without gas, we use whatever edible raw veggies we have in the fridge to make lunch. Mmm. <laughs> Just soak <laughs> out, mmm. <laughs> Oh, but we're going the wrong way. We're going south. 
Not too far. Not too far south, but a little bit south. So we, we, we weren't expecting to be back in Airlie Beach anytime soon, let's just say that. We've been busy becoming professional painters, as you can see. Uh, we might quit doing YouTube videos and start doing paintings instead. Day three of no gas breakfast is no fruit granola with peanut butter. We're good. We're going to try and get the head sail out on the other side and goose wing. Should be good to go. Someone accidentally put the preventer on over the sheets. We're about four miles away. We've still got like an hour before we can call them to get our birth number. So we're quite happy just pot pottering along. It's my goose dance. Goose dance. Do I can't dance. do this okay. angle very well. Oh yeah, because it's bung for it. Oh, good job, babe. That will make some dinner nicely. Yeah, that's probably a more our style of dinner, isn't it? A bit of seaweed. That, a bit of seaweed. We can sprinkle that on some tofu. It's quite pretty bit of seaweed, isn't it? Let's taste seaweed. Yeah. Oh, Topping lift on before you drop it. That was the first time we've experienced it crispy, just like, ah! like those, that's what boom bag dreams are made of right there. I don't know if we filmed him last time, but this is Brendan, legend, absolute chief. People come into a marina and they're like chilling, but us, it's like, right, we're gonna steal your water, see what you do. <laughs> things first, gas. Hopefully we need to go to the tannery because I dropped the main tap on the water the other day. I'll get that in the Yay! Chopped coffees and... Do you want a coffee? Yeah, I'd love a coffee. Ugh. We can all breathe again. We can all have coffee again. A little flame of life. <gasps> My tummy just rumbled, I'm so hungry. First hot meal in three days. Two days. One, two, two, and, and, a half. two and a half days, exactly. We didn't get very creative with it, we were really hungry. So now that we have gas, we need to get fuel. But that isn't until tomorrow. So the next important thing is... Let's go to the pool. Oh, and we need to drop off a couple of weeks worth of rubbish. Yeah, so good. We also <laughs> thought we should invest in some stinger suits because y'all know what time of year it is. <laughs> stinger season. From around October, November, the extremely venomous box jellyfish and irukandji make themselves known in the northern Australian waters until about May. Irukandji, being about one cubic centimetre big, makes them extremely difficult to see and if stung, the reaction is severe, causing severe backaches, shooting muscle pains, vomiting and breathing difficulties, to name the least. A sting will often end you up in hospital. Basically, you don't want to get stung, so you got to wear one of these. 
now we're going to put our stinger suits on and jump in the pool. We think we're going to opt for a cocktail <laughs> first up. <laughs> Just, um, I don't know, we just thought that would be the right thing to do. When life gives you lemons. I don't know what it is. I just said, what's the Friday cocktail? And they said, when life gives you lemons. Cheers. Mm. Pretty yum. We're just going to interrupt you right there and tell you our official master plan. Yeah, It's about time. Yeah, it is. We've, so anyway, the weatherman, it is about time, so we'll hook straight into it. The weatherman's showing no signs of these northerlies ending. And we were planning on going to Cairns to spend summer there. We only have a week left of holidays. Wait, that, that's what our plan was. Our plan was what to was get up to Cairns through this uni break and spend cyclone season sitting in Cairns. Mm. Well, not sitting, but... Being productive being in that general in Cairns. So we only have a week left of holidays, and instead of beating into these northerly winds that are very set in, um, we've decided to take it a little bit slower and explore some of the islands we missed around in this local area. So with our feet in the pool and a cocktail in hand, we have decided this is the plan. We're going to let you know to spend cyclone season in Airlie Beach. in order to sail around Australia. Yeah. Yes, we are determined to sail around Australia and complete a circumnavigation. We just fully called it. Yeah, that's... I know, oh so that person <laughs> that in the comments last week that said buy a van, no, I'm gonna sail around Australia instead, <laughs> despite you. Um, we only just decided after we read that comment. Yeah, that's it. This is the <laughs> no, I'm just yeah, kidding. We, decided, <laughs> anyway. we are actually somewhat a little bit organized with this. Sort of. Sort we're, of. We're working on it. Okay, but to do so, we have very seriously adopted a no turning back policy. The reason we have the no turning back policy is because of uni and other commitments. It takes us quite a while to make any ground and we're not willing to give any of it up. Otherwise, we'll never make this thing happen. We have a huge list of upgrades and general boat maintenance as well as uni cramming and collecting some freedom tokens to do over this cyclone season before we take ourselves a little bit more remote. Mm. Alright, so there's plenty of like boat jobs and upgrades and all that on the horizon, but for now we've got a week left of holidays, so come and enjoy it in the islands with us and let's get back to sailing. We're officially not going backwards anymore. We are now going sideways um, towards destination unknown. Wait. Good. That's... Oh no, don't. We made it to pizza last night. No, pizza. Woo! 
That was your pizza bread. that we did decide to go to Nara. If we didn't, we're going, we're going to Nara. Woo! We're pretty excited because apparently there's a waterfall in here and a cave with some Aboriginal art, which would be super sick to see. So we're pretty keen. We finally nailed dropping this thing. Now we've just got a nail putting it up through the lazy jacks because that's still new to us as well. All the way down the end of this lengthy inlet are a couple of salty scallywags we've seen around here before. Miles, Luke and Fumi, Come on, Luke, Gator, let's go. and Dean. Dean the legend who went up the mast for us back down the coast. sales one of those sales we're just gonna go do the rounds of the people now say good day how you going everyone ah. <laughs> <Party is hard. laughs> we're just been doing the rounds oh, no. like... yo, yo, yo. Nick spliced our lazy jacks and look who we just and then we bumped into. into him in a tinny in here in the middle of nowhere yeah. everyone's <laughs> out here at the moment we just kept wondering why this tinny kept adjusting course to run us down. Yeah. <laughs> Thought that was well, a I like, went over to the boat and I was like, where are they? Like, they're not yeah. there. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Cheeky! Hello! Do you want a cracker? Look at him, he's so curious! Oh, you're cheeky! Oh, you dropped his cracker! <laughs> Miles being Miles has cooked up a massive feed. <laughs> Gyoza has got something. Yes. Gyoza? Gyoza. Shut up! No, you shut up! <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you then. But wait, if you're still here and you want to help us stick it to the van man and assist us making videos as we sail around Australia, feel free to check out our Patreon link below. Probably doesn't help when I don't really do much physio. Don't say that. Don't say that. Sophie, you should be there. Everyone will be, yeah. everyone will comment. Sophie, what are you thinking? You need to be yeah. doing physio. Yeah, I constant. know I need to be doing physio, but sometimes it's just, I'm only human. At the end of the day, I'm a human being that's sometimes not great at doing stuff. <laughs>